All right, what's happening, everybody? It's your boy Akeem. Welcome to this blog. Here to give you a preview of the Cal Bears for the 2015 college football season. Now, I'm calling it out right now. I believe that this is the sleeper of the Pac 12 Conference this upcoming season. I think they have a great offensive side, but we already know, and you can see on paper, that it's the defense that needs to step up for Cal. I think that head coach um, Sonny Dykes needs to do a better job defensively, and they did pick up a defensive coordinator last season and Art Kaufman he was entering his second season and he needs to do a better job or he will get fired now defensively they actually allow 39 points per game actually worse in the Pac-12 conference they need to do a way much better job come on guys if you guys if you get your defense to average allowing between 20 and 25 points per game this team could possibly represent the north for the Pac-12 on championship now, they do have a couple of impact players, starting with the quarterback and Jared Goff. Now, he had a great year last season. He was actually sixth in the nation in passing yards per game with 346. He had 3,973 yards passing, 35 touchdowns, and seven interceptions. Now, he was asked to carry the workload of the offensive side for the past two seasons, and we have seen him progress as a quarterback. This upcoming season, I believe that confidence level will be at its peak, as well as his comfortability. And in and, and, and inside the pocket as well as throwing the uh, as far as throwing the football. Now he has a good thousand yard rusher behind him and Daniel Lasco and he also and Lasco actually has a good backup running back as well as a great return specialist in Kafani uh, in, in Kafani Muhammad six foot uh, five foot seven one hundred and seventy pounds a solid second um um tier running back as well as an excellent return specialist. I think this is a great addition on um, both offensively and as a, uh, in the special teams. Now on the defense aside, there is one player that I do like particularly, and he actually reminds me of an former Cal Bear on um, safety, and Griffin Pyatt. He reminds me a lot of Chris Conti during his time at Cal. I think that Conti was a decent player for the Bears, and I think the same for Griffin Pyatt. Now, he played only six games last season, but he still registered 39 tackles, three interceptions, and six pass breakups before having a season-ending surgery um, injury that ended his season. Now, for as far as the, um, the recruits coming out of high school they did pick up three four-star recruits which is a decent um, pickup starting with wide receiver and Carlos Stric um, Strickland I think this is a good player coming out of Dallas at wide receiver at running back Lonnie Powell out of Sacramento and Ross Bowers a quarterback coming out of Bethel Washington I think he's going to possibly has a chance to be the future quarterback but for right now this is Jared Goss position and he is the leader on the offensive side now as far as top five recruits they did a pretty good decent job they do have one top five recruit um um coming out of high school and the offensive side and russell uh, Ood, a six foot um actually on the defensive side six foot three 250 pounds not too bad as far as recruit as well now i think that overall this season they're gonna go six and six but they are a sleeper in the pac-12 conference they could probably wreck some havoc i do believe that this is a bowl um, um winning um, division team a team that will make it to a bowl matchup but this is going to be a tough year but i think they have a chance to go in um to the pac-12 championship if their defense just step it up but i think with the addition of griffin pyatt coming back i think I think that defense will definitely do a much better job this upcoming season. But I think they're still going to go 6-6, six and six, but they are my sleeper of the Pac-12 Conference. Now, the next time to catch you guys will be in just a couple of minutes. I have five more blogs for you for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.